Hi everyone, it's Robin and um, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I was like, and um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so um, I, I know, like brace yourself because I'm already back with another video. Um, I just, I sat down, I had a few minutes and so I decided to go ahead and um, definitely film this one and if I have time to film a second one right after, I am going to do that. So um, I, you know, I focus mainly on like handbag videos and stuff and that's great, but um, I get a lot of requests like, well, I get a lot of questions like, oh, what's that lipstick that you're wearing or, the, you know, the nail polish that you're wearing and um, I mean, I think I've kind of posted, you know, a few times, but um, I am a bona fide, y'all think I'm strung out on handbags? No, 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 you should see <laughs> my makeup collection. I think I, I posted it in one video. That was like an abbreviated version. I am strung out on makeup in a way that is just not healthy or I, I can't even, I can't even defend it. It's ridiculous because nobody needs as many. I think at last count I have like a hundred and some odd, a lot of lipstick. I'm just going to say a lot of lipstick. And you know, some of you guys are like, no, 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 that's totally okay because you know, a girl needs choices. Nobody needs 27 red lipsticks. Just gonna throw that out there. But anyway, so um, it's gonna mainly be, I'm looking, so it's all right here. It's mainly beauty. There's one home item and then one kind of accessory item. And these are just, I can't tie myself into like an August favorites because um, I don't know. Not that I don't love those videos. I love those videos. I just, I kind of do, you know, like my current favorites. I'm just gonna, that's, that's what I'm gonna call these, my current favorites. And then when I look around and I realize that I've got a selection of, kind of stuff that I have been using, you know, like week in, week out, um, or long term even, um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw up a video and it might be, you know, a two minute video. I've already talked for two minutes though, or it might be like a 15 minute video. And so, um, you know, but I'll do my best to keep this brief. Okay. I'm going to start with all the makeup stuff and the beauty stuff. And okay. I get asked a lot. I wear this color on my nails a lot, which is just a nude. I get asked all the time what it is and it is by OPI. It is called, is it going to focus? It's not going to focus. It's called Tickle My Francie. It is, came out, when did this come out? Years ago. And it was one of the, like, the collections, you know, they do with all the, you know, cute little names, you know, Tickle My Francie. And <laughs> I had no idea if it was going to be made um, a permanent color. So when I realized how much I loved it, I think I went out and bought, like, eight bottles. And then it became part of the core collection. And um, so I ended up giving a few away to people who were like, oh, I like your collar. Oh, hey, here, let me give you one because I have six in back stock. So OPI Tickle My Francie. Um, I do like OPI polishes, but I'm not necessarily like, um, at, like that loyal, but I do prefer this. Normally though, um, I prefer OPI for dark colors and reds and Essie for nudes because nobody does a sheer ballet pink like Essie, you know, like 862 versions and nobody does a red like OPI. Like they will add an extra drop of blue and call it a whole new name and charge a whole nother, you know, $12 for it or whatever these cost. But Tickle My Francie for my skin tone um, is kind of the perfect, I think, non-obtrusive, still present nude. So there you go. Okay, next item up. Um, this is the Chantecaille. It's, sorry, I'm trying to buff it out of my leg because it's covered in finger fingerprints. This is the Chantecaille, um, what's it called? The Compact Makeup. It's a powder foundation. Sorry. Um, this looks really yellow and it, it probably is, no, it's showing up really yellow on screen and it's just, it's not. Um, my color is bamboo. It's probably about a half shade too dark, but um, with pale skin, if you use powder that's too pale, it has a tendency to go kind of chalky and powdery looking. So I find that if I use something like this and then really buff it out, I have no problems. So it's the Chantecaille compact makeup and I use bamboo and I really like it. And I apply it with, I touch up with a little, um, it comes with one of those little latex sponges inside. I'll occasionally touch up with it, um, but I normally apply it with this next product, which is the Marc, sorry, the Marc Jacobs. It's called the Bronze. It's brush number 12. It is dirty right now, I apologize. This was a spur of the moment video, otherwise I would have washed my brushes because the next one is a foundation brush and it's 
it is dirty. Um, so like, like Christina Aguilera during her chaps dirty, you know, that kind of dirty. So, um, this is a really nice fluffy synthetic brush. Ooh, see the powder? <laughs> I am so prepared for these videos. Um, what I like about this is it's a really nice brush. It, it says for bronzer, but for me, if I did this with bronzer, like I'd be bronze all the way. And that's not the look I'm going for. So I apply powder. I have applied blush with, you know, used it to apply blush when I was traveling. But um, for me, I just like it as a powder brush. The second Marc Jacobs brush that I purchased is um, it's this one. It's the foundation one. It's called the face. You can see that it's sort of an angled brush. And what that does is I, I put the foundation on the back of my hand and then I kind of go and then I really buff it in. And that angle, can you see? There you go. You can really see that it's got like a nice flat angle. And um, it's just, it's really soft. It doesn't aggravate my skin or make my rosacea like bright and more evident. And I really like that. And I like that I can both buff, but then I can also kind of stipple and do like that. So I really like that. Um, still makeup. Um, this is the NARS Mysterious, can you even see that? Probably not. Mysterious Red um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I have it on right now. Um, what I like about these is the color is true, it doesn't change. Sometimes you put on a red lipstick and it kind of goes like that bright raspberry pink, you know, especially as it wears off, or it just kind of goes like a really blue, or it just, ugh. These don't change color, they wear like iron, but the best part, especially if you are of a certain age, ladies, are you listening? It doesn't feather. So, um, yeah, and, and to those of you who don't even know what I'm talking about, how, how precious for you, but that's when you are old like me and your lipstick starts to, like, remember how your grandma's lipstick used to, like, bleed into the little lines? That's called feathering, um, and that's what happens when you become <laughs> old and, um, you know, like me, so that's fine. But it's okay because with age comes wisdom and enough money to buy a Birkin, so it's fine. Um, I cannot believe I just said that. Um, and I can't edit and I'm seven and a half minutes in so I'm just gonna go with it But I think you guys know I'm kidding. Okay, so the NARS um, Velvet matte lip pencil. This one is mysterious red another good color another good red that they do is also called Cruella and US ladies if you um, shop at Sephora Cruella comes with another little short one. It's like this year's birthday present and Cruella is it's like it's not it's not half size. I would say it's probably two thirds size of this and it comes with another small one. I can't remember the name. Um, it's not Bahama. It's just a really pretty, just nude color. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we'll start with, keep on going with makeup. Okay, so this is not like a new product. A bunch of you are gonna be like, you're just finding out about that. All right, Robin. Um, I've had it before and I think I had it in the wrong color and so I didn't like it. Um, it is Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I wear in Fresco, which is again probably about a half a shade too dark for me, but it does a fantastic job of color covering my rosacea. It doesn't go cakey, it doesn't accentuate anything, it wears, well, like it says double wear, it wears like iron. And um, if I just buff it, it's perfect. And then the one time that I thought it was a little bit too, like I could see, I just took a lighter foundation and stippled it along my jaw and then blended it all together and it was good. So um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, it has an SPF of 10, stay in place. It doesn't really transfer, but like I said, the best thing I've noticed is I put it on the other day, I put it on Friday morning and um, we had gone away for just to go look at some things over the weekend. And when we got to our hotel room at like literally 10 o'clock at night, I looked in the mirror and my face was still like I had just put it on. It was flawless. The makeup was flawless. The face was beat up, but the, but the makeup itself was, was great. So um, I highly suggest if you haven't already, um, giving that a shot if you need something that offers you some coverage but doesn't look cakey and stays put. Um, I'll do this one. So I was at Selfridges um, a couple weeks ago, week and a half ago, and you know, just looking at handbags and stuff like that with my dear friend Chris, who was in visiting from Texas, and um, I sprayed some of this on just as a whim. It's called Amond. 
It's by Prada, and when I smelled it, I thought, oh, that really smells good. It smells familiar. I just couldn't pinpoint what it was. I put it on the back of my hand, thought nothing of it, and then later on that evening, I like did something like this, and I smelled my hand, and oh my gosh, I wanted to take myself on a date. <laughs> it smelled so good. And, um, and I was like, what, what have I done? Is it a lotion? What, 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 what is that? And then I realized it was this perfume um, by Prada, Amand. It's in this really pretty, I can't see it. The, the lid looks like Saffiano. I doubt it's leather, but it's really pretty. It's probably, it looks similar to what, like their Sac, Prada, no, is Prada, who does Sac du Jour? What does Prada do? No, Prada does the Saffiano Lux Tote, sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, it, it's, it just feels like Safiano. It looks like Safiano. And it's this really pretty cornflower blue. And it has a little tag on the side. And I don't speak this language. But it has um, like almond, heliotrope, tonka bean, and like a musk. Okay. If you are in the U.S. and you have ever bathed a baby, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And But hear me out and hear me to the end of this description. It reminds me of a very grown-up version of Baby Magic Lotion. And I know I'm really selling it there. Um, so picture this really, really clean, warm, I don't wanna say baby powder smell, baby powder smell, but then grown up with some musk. And I guess what I like about it is it smells familiar. It reminds me of when my little ones were even littler. And, um, I just, I like the lasting power. It doesn't turn on me. It doesn't go funky. It stays true. And I just, I like the, the base notes and I like the way it smells on like my warm skin. So um, it's one of those that you don't have to be overly, it's not that you need a bunch to smell it, but you don't let, have to be real sparing when you put it on and otherwise you end up smelling like you've just bathed in perfume. Like, um, like I have to be really careful with Angel if I wear that. Like I have to do the thing where I spray like a half a spray and then I walk into it and then even then it might be a little overpowering. This one I can spray on both wrists, my neck. And I like this one after a bath. I just feel like it smells so nice. Um, so that is by Prada. It is called Amand. And um, this is a 3.4 ounce. I want to say this was like 84 pounds. It's not probably cheap, but it the staying power is so good that it's one of those you'll put on and then that's it for the day. So, um, you know, give it a shot. Um, I've got two more. One of them is a kind of a beauty item. I'm wiping it off because it just, I just pulled it out of my travel bag. Okay. So forever and a day I was searching. Oh, I've got two more. Sorry. Forever and a day I was searching for a travel mirror because, um, ladies, how many of you guys try and do your makeup like this when you're in a hotel? So, okay, I can do one eye at a time. And then I'm gonna have two different looking eyes and my eyebrows, they're not even twins, they're not even sisters, they're not even from the same continent. You know, it's just, it's bad, bad, bad. So um, I was looking everywhere for a travel mirror that was small enough that it would fit inside my bag, but that was big enough and I could see my whole face. And then I was watching of all people, okay, don't judge, <laughs> my daughter wanted me to watch, um, Zoella. And she was doing, I think it was like the five minute makeup challenge with somebody else. And she busted out with this mirror, this like to do her makeup. And she opened it and I'm, I don't want to blind you guys. So I'm going to try and do, okay. Well, there's my legs. Um, and there's my sofa. Oh, and there's my, my big setup. If you guys were all interested, like, oh, what's your setup? It's an iPhone on a tripod. So fancy. Um, but it... I don't know. And you can see though the size of it. It's a it's a substantial size and then it's got this little guy in the back that you can lean and I think I paid a rip roaring. I don't even think I paid 10 pounds for this shipped. It's like the size of a Kindle and I will not be without it. This is the best thing. I'm almost tempted to buy a backup in case it breaks and they don't make it anymore. I would be so butthurt. This has been such a game changer when we travel because it just, it's, I can see my whole face all at one time. You know, not that that's necessarily a great thing, but you know, hey ho. Um, last two items. One of them's a home item. Um, so you guys all know that I'm strung out on candles. I'm really strung out on diptyque. Um, Feu de Bois, this is a big one right here that I got for winter. Feu de Bois is kind of the scent that I, that I burn a lot around the house. Um, for those of you that don't know, it basically smells like firewood and smoke and that that beautiful smell of like burning leaves and wood in winter you know 
<laughs> and some of you are thinking like, ew, that's gross. Um, I just, it, to me, it smells warm and inviting and cozy. Um, this is John Galliano. Okay, it's, they burn really well together. This just smells, oh, I don't even know. It's just warm and yummy and I love it. And um, yeah, I, I don't even, there's probably somewhere that tells me all the fabulous notes and it's probably some, you know, like Tibetan monk incense. I don't know what it is. What I can tell you is I like the way it smells and that it's, it doesn't smell like anything. It just gives your home like a really nice, mature, yummy, warm, cashmere wrapped up quality. The last thing is something that I've had for a while, but I'm just now bringing it out. Um, so last year I f raved and raved and just about the, what, what are they called? The cash, oh, no, sorry, the wool square, the Burberry wool square. And I have it in like the ivory check. And um, so when I got my Birkin, I thought, you know, I really want a scarf that goes with that. I have the Louis Vuitton shawl in Verone, Verona, whatever, um, and it goes really well, but I wanted something that was a little bit snugglier, and I thought to myself, you know, I don't think the color suit, but I'm going to go try the Burberry, um, the same one, but in the house, and this, see, it's showing up really kind of like yellowy brown, but this goes perfectly with my Birkin. Um, I love the shot of red. I wore it today and carried it with my Birkin, so I got my red lips on. And then, um, you know, I just like the black and the white, and I like that kind of however you wear it, you can kind of do a different feature color. So this is the last item, but I've been wearing this a little bit lately, and because um, it's starting to get fall weather, is it's starting to become fall, not get fall. It's starting to become fall and get a little bit cooler and crisper, and the, the leaves are starting to fall. Um, sorry, and if you're in the UK, sorry, autumn. We call it fall in America. You guys call it autumn over here. So that's really it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.